Welcome to City University College of Ajman's tutorial on how to access your student exam browser. Please go to CUCA website for you to be able to access your student portal by clicking on the login icon. Kindly enter your username and your password by filling in your login credentials and click on the sign in button. Here you will be directed to your UMS portal where you will be able to find the Moodle Live icon. Kindly click on that icon and you will be directed to your dashboard that gives you an overview of your registered courses. Please select the course according to your scheduled examination and you can move forward by clicking on the test exam link. Here you will be directed to this page where you can start the download process of your Lockdown browser. You may click on this link if it is your first time to download the Lockdown browser. And now you can proceed by clicking on the Install Now button. Now automatically, the file of the Lockdown browser will begin to download in your PC, and it will just take a few seconds. Now please note that you only have to download the Lockdown browser one time, and you can use it throughout the whole examination period. Once the download is complete, we can just click on this file. And now the Lockdown Browser setup will begin. In this process, we just have to run and install the Lockdown Browser in our PC or computers. Click on Next. Now the installation process has begun. Once it's finished, we can just click on the Finish button. Now we are ready to launch our Lockdown Browser. We'll just click on this link and we can open the Lockdown Browser. Now the Lockdown Browser will begin to appear in our screens. So it says here, Respondus Lockdown Browser. We can begin by clicking on the Start Quiz button. Here you will be directed to a page for verification checks, and it is mandatory to complete the following startup verifications. So that will be from step one to step nine. Step one, terms of use. Kindly read through the terms and conditions of the Lockdown Browser, and once you've understood everything completely, you may move forward by clicking on the Agree button. Now, step two is the webcam check. So this is just to verify that your webcam is working. And as soon as you can see an image on the screen, you can just click on the button, yes. Now it is mandatory to record a five second video of yourself. And this is just part of the verification process. We can now start by clicking on the record five second video button. Now it says that it's connected and the seconds has now started. Okay, please wait and you will be able to see a playback video of yourself. Once you can see this playback video, you can just click on continue button. We can now move forward to step number three, which is additional instructions. Um, Kindly read through this factor thoroughly as well. Once you've understood everything, please continue by clicking on this icon below. Step number four is a series of guidelines and tips. So number one, select a quiet location where you won't be interrupted or distracted. Please read through this information as well. Step number two, make sure your internet connection is consistent and strong. Step number three, place your computer or device on a flat, hard surface, such as a table or desk, and sit in a chair during the exam. Step number four is um, to provide 
or to improve the quality of your webcam video and reduce flags, remember the following. Don't wear sunglasses or hats and take the exam in a well-lit room and avoid backlighting. Number five is other things to remember. Uh, please note that gadgets and other um, applications is not allowed during the exam. And also the lockdown browser prevents you from accessing other websites or applications to avoid any disruptions. Now we can just move forward by clicking on the continue button. For step number five, we just require a student photo from your side. This is also part of the verification process. So all you have to do is that once you're ready, you can just click on the take picture button here. Once you can see your image, you can just proceed by clicking on the continue button to proceed to step number six, which is show your identification card or student ID. You can do that by uh, taking your student identification card and placing it towards the camera and it must be in a readable position. If you don't have your student ID card, you can use your Emirates ID and that will be fine. So once you're ready, just click on the take picture button. And as soon as that's done, you can just click on the continue button below. Now, moving on to step number seven, this is an environment check where you need to capture a video of your surroundings starting from the left side frame going towards the right side of the frame and you need to capture your keyboard area as well. So as soon as you're ready, you can just click on the start recording video here. Okay, so let's just click on that. It says here, please wait. Now it's connected. And now it's recording. So we can start from the left side, going to the right side. And once that's done, we can just um, capture a video of our keyboard as well. So as soon as that's finished, we can just click on stop recording. So a playback video will also appear on your screen. So once that's done, just uh, click on the continue button. Step number eight is a facial detection check. Um, this is just to verify that your webcam is working and is connected successfully. As soon as you can see the um, successful verification icon here, you can just um, proceed by clicking on the continue button below. And step number nine, which is the final step, uh, we can now start to begin the exam by clicking on the Begin Exam button. Here, the content of the examination will now appear and you can just attempt each question accordingly. Once uh, that's done, you can just click on Finish Attempt button below. And this is just a verification that you've answered all of the questions and you've attempted everything. Um, once you've verified that, you can just click on Submit All and Finish button below. And another confirmation will appear on your screen. Um, once you've already cross-checked everything and you're already satisfied with your answers, you can just click on Submit All and Finish button. Now you will be directed to a feedback form which uh, you can be able to provide your comments and personal um, experiences by typing it here on this text box or you can just um, click on the options here. So once that's done, you can just finish it off by clicking on the submit button. After answering the feedback form, you will be directed to this page where you will see the icon finished, which means that you have completed your exam. Afterwards, you can now exit the browser by clicking on exit browser button.